2D animation is one of the leading trends in the animation industry. It is an art of creating movement in two-dimensional space. This includes characters, creatures, effects, and backgrounds. In today's video, we are going to create this Spider-Man run cycle animation inside of After Effects without using any plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 2 minutes. And for the background color, I'll choose white color. Hit OK. Choose Grid and Guide Options and Title Safe Actions. Now I have this illustrator file over here in which I have separated all these layers. If you want these files then links are available in the description. Now I will go to my after effects. Now I will double click on this project window or you can simply hit ctrl i on keyboard to import our, import our project file, illustrator file. By choosing this go to the footage options over here and import as composition retain layer sizes and then hit import now this is our illustrator file now drag this file in main animation com now double click on it to open that com now as we can see our background in black so what we will do is we will hit ctrl k so we will change our background color instead of black i will choose white hit ok hit ok so as we can see there are six layers these are hands chest legs and this is hip so first thing we will do is we will adjust the anchor points of each and every one so first we will go with these hands i will choose this option over here so we can see only these two layers select these two layers and hit T or opacity is options and decrease the opacity as we can see one circle over here so what we will do is we will select this layer first instead of auto I will choose full resolution press Y on keyboard so we can adjust our anchor point for this layer I will adjust this anchor point over here for this second layer I will adjust my anchor point to over here. Now, add this to. Now, I will choose this leg and select these two options. Hit T and decrease the opacity. Select this layer, hit Y to adjust this anchor point and move this over here. Now select this one and again move this anchor point over here. Just like this and increase the opacity up to 100. Now what we will do is, we will select this chest layer and we will move this anchor point over here also enable this hip so we can get the center of just like this so our anchor points moments are ready now what we will do is we will parent this chest layer with this hip we will parent this hand as you can see, we will parent this hand with this hand 2 and we will parent this hand 2 with our chest so again, we will choose this now we will this parent this leg 1 to this leg 2 and we will parent this 
leg two with our chest so we will get something like this and this for the rotation or the shortcut key is w so we will get this option for rotation we will get control z now we will animate our spider-man run cycle first thing we will animate is our leg press r for rotation property hit w to rotate it the first i will rotate it something like this create one keyframe over here choose this layer hit r on keyboard for rotation i will make it something like this create one keyframe I'll end rotate something like this. Zoom in a little bit. Go to 10 set frames and move this oh, just like this. Also select this layer and by using W rotate it something like this. So it will create keyframe here automatically. Now go to 20 frames select this leg to layer and rotate it like this select this layer and rotate it like this now go to one frame select this leg to layer rotate it like this select this layer and rotate it like this now go to one second 10 frames and what we need to do is we will select our first keyframe hit ctrl c and ctrl v also select this keyframe hit ctrl c and ctrl v so as we can see our animation will look like this Select this layer and move it a little bit here. Select this layer keyframes and hit F9. Select this middle one keyframes, hit F9. And select this last one and hit F9. So we get something like this. Now what we will do is we will alt click on this rotation properties and type loop out expression hit ctrl a ctrl c alt click on this rotation and hit ctrl v so we'll get this looping animation over here now what we will do is we'll hit ctrl t to duplicate it and drag it down at the last hit u on keyboard But before that what we will do is, I think this leg movement is very slow. So what we will do is, we will select this keyframes by holding alt click. We will drag this something like that. So we will get some fast movements of this animation. Now select this last two layers and we will go to the first frame and we will just drag this over here up to this so we will get our animation like this now we need to animate this hand so what we will do is we will select this layer and animate like this but on create one keyframe on R select this hand too and create one keyframe on this R now go to the 10 keyframes and select this R and move it over here. Select the second hand and rotate it like this. Now go to the here, select this keyframes, hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Select it, sorry, select this keyframes, hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now select this keyframes, hit F9, just like this. Now 
right click on this rotation property hit loop out expression control a to select this loop out control c and control v just like it now again we will duplicate these layers hit control t on keyboard and drag down over here hit u on keyboard and just move it over here so you get something like this now what we will do is, is we will rotate this chest just like this but before that what we need to do is as we can see our this leg is parent with this chest so what we will do is we will unparent this layers also this one now we will rotate our chest just like this now select this leg this leg and parent this with our hip now as we can see the legs are little bit small as compared to this chest so what we will do is we will select these two legs leg 2 and leg 4 press s for scaling option and just increase the size of these legs so we will get something like this now what we will do is we will choose our hip hit p for positioning now go few frame forwards now what we'll do is we'll hit ctrl r for grid options and we will create one grid over here now hit for position property p create one keyframe over here go to the start and move this little bit upward Now go few frame forwards and again hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now go to this keyframes. Hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now up to this press U so we can see properly our last keyframes. Select this keyframe. Hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Select this keyframes. Hit F9. I'll click on this position property loop out expression so we we'll get something like this now as we can see the height of this spider-man is not proper so what we will do is we will use our puppet pen tool and we will create this puppet one over here one over here and one over here and just simply adjust this just like this now hit U on keyboard go few frame forwards and we will just drag down a little bit this head go over here select this layer hit ctrl C ctrl V again go over here copy this keyframe ctrl C ctrl V and go to the last keyframes select this keyframe ctrl c ctrl v select this keyframes hit f9 alt click on this stopwatch type loop expressions just like this Now there is another thing you can do is that you can create puppet pen tool on this hand also. Now you see the one keyframe over here, one pin over here, then one pin over here. Hit U at this three frames. I'll mount something like this over here. I'll copy this keyframe. Hit F9. Nice. Alt click loop out expression
just like this so yep this is our final animation of run cycle of the spider-man now if we want to create this animation more realistic so what we will do is we will select all these layers and we will choose this motion blur options for all these layers so it will create one motion blur on it so we will get some realism just like this Thank you for watching this tutorial guys. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel. Until then stay tuned.